Welcome back to Fox 43 AM Live. I'm joined now with Terry from Tark. How are you doing, Sherry? I am good. How are you? Doing great. And I would love to learn a little bit more about what you guys have going on at Tark. I mean, I know we just ended out Winter Wonderland. How yes. was that? Uh, it was good. Uh, weather was a little bit of an issue for us. Mm -hmm. About three nights we had to cancel, but other than that, it went really well. Okay. So we're pretty excited. We haven't wrapped up all the numbers yet. We're working on that. So I will let you know those as soon as I know them. Okay, great. Well, can't wait to hear the numbers. We love uh, learning about how much we could raise, uh, right, for, yeah, for Winter Wonderland. And I know that you guys have uh, Pat and Karen Moore in the Moore team, so realtors in mm -hmm. the area here. They made a commitment three years ago to donate a portion of their commissions to TARC each year. And this past year, they donated 30000 So if you wouldn't mind just expanding on who they are and what this means for you guys, I'd love to hear. Absolutely. Well, Pat and Karen had a child who received TARC services, and now they've had um, as they've had a grandchild who also receives services and they're just very dedicated to TARC and want to support TARC. So with the money that they donate each year, most of it goes to children's services because that's where their heart is. And they have a grandson, Cameron, who has raised money with his lemonade stand for years for TARC, for oh, children's his services. lemonade stand? Okay. And, and, and then it would raise four or $5,000 because people would get involved and know what it was about wow. and what it was for. So um, Old school but effective, right? Yes. They had... They had <laughs> Lemonade, they had baked goods, they had oh, people great. just come donate money. So they have been involved. Karen is our past board president as well. Oh, great. And so their team, the Keller Williams Moore Home Team, has made a commitment to do that, to donate to us each year. So and their team is on board, and some of their team members have had children who have received services. So. And how long have they been doing this? I apologize if you mentioned. Well, I think they... I think they made the commitment either three or four years ago. Okay. And with the pandemic, things kind of got rocky and you know how mm -hmm. things went, but then the market picked up and it has just been very successful for them and they are just wonderful people. They are just dear, dear, oh, dear course. friends and friends of Tark. Yeah, and I know that, I mean, it's it, the housing market was booming here in Topeka, so they must be doing great. And uh, to you know bring that back and, and give away to, yes. uh, to you all is just such a nice, good feeling. It must it make is. you guys feel great. And their heart is just their heart is full, and they just love Tark. So we are very, very grateful to them for what yes, they do for very us. Very thankful that their heart is in the right place. And I know uh, Capital Federal also raised money for you guys over seventeen thousand dollars. So. Do they do this frequently too? Is this well, something that they do a quarterly fundraiser for different organizations and we were their fourth quarter um, their fourth organization quarter organization, organization yes. Mm -hmm. And so they do all kinds of things. They have baskets that they auction off and they have uh, that people can donate to and whoever don't, you know wins the basket. And then they have other things that they do that the employees can and participate in and raise money for. And then their found, their foundation matches it dollar for dollar. And then they also had a community uh, a community policy group that donated money as well. So we were lucky My to goodness. be their fourth quarter recipients. So quite a lot of uh, avenues that they're getting that from. Yes. And this is, of course, do this donation is going to go more towards children's services as well, right? It will go, actually, it's probably going to help a lot with our feeding clinic, which is part oh, of great. children's services, but it's also um, part of our entire organization. So it will be very well used. <laughs> and the feeding clinic works to feed families here in the area? The feeding course, clinic is, um, we have a, a doctor, Dr. Alicia Delgado, who mm -hmm. is a speech language pathologist and she works with children and adults who can't swallow, who can't eat uh, nor normally and works mm -hmm. with them to get them to uh, avoid a feeding tube if at all possible and she has great success. So oh, wow. we were approached years ago, probably 12 years ago or more, by Stormont Vale and said, we have this need and we can't do it. Can you do it? And they gave us a seed grant and we started the feeding clinic and it has just grown from there. It seems like it's really blossomed and it now has. this donation will just help it grow even more, yes, right? Yes, absolutely. And is there anything that Tark is really excited for? Of course, we have Winter Wonderland to get excited for at the end of this next year. Yes. Uh, you know, we just started a new one. So <laughs> is there anything that you guys have planned that you want to mention that you're ready well, for? We have our golf tournament that will come in that we do in May and it's a huge, you know, raises over $20,000 for, wow. um, for TARC and helps with those funding issues that we have. So that will be coming up and they will be hiring a new development director so that I can retire again. <laughs> <laughs> Please, guys, Sherry needs a break. Uh, it's all good. I love Tark, so it's all good. Yeah, Tark, and so that's that's open open now if, if people they, are interested? In, um, they haven't really posted the job, but they're working towards getting that accomplished. So hopefully, you know, 
by this time next year, it'll be somebody <laughs> else sitting in this position. <laughs> All right. And, and when was that golf tournament one more time? It is in May. It is, I don't know the exact, May 24. First, but I'm not sure if that's the exact date, but around that time. Oh, of course. Well, we can totally, you know, double check that and get that posted online too. Absolutely. And uh, get everyone excited to, uh, you know, do a little tea little time. It's there. a lot Play of a fun. Golf. We have a great time out there. So it's at Lake Shawnee Golf Course and they are fabulous and everybody has a wonderful time. And that's the main thing too. Absolutely. Well, we're so glad that you guys have received some donations and we love uh, speaking with our friends over at TARC. So hopefully, well, I love speaking with Sherry, but hopefully uh, she can get retired here soon. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, we'll be right back with more Fox 43 AM Live.